Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. And in this video, we got good news and we got bad news. And then we got more bad news or we have good news depending on how you want to look at it. But in this video, we got our updates for the Silver Age and the Bronze Age Index for the months of August. So in this video, we're gonna go over the updates. Got a lot of interesting sort of data to show you guys, some numbers, a lot of charts, a lot of graphs. Hopefully it's not gonna to be too dense. Hopefully this will be a fun video to watch. It'll definitely be an informative video to watch because I do think I have some pretty good takeaways for the overall conditions of the market. And I think you guys will enjoy it. But before I get into the video, if you guys could drop me a like or a comment or subscribe if you're enjoying the content, helps for the channel doing those things, I would appreciate it. But let's get into this video here today. Now, of course, if you guys uh, know, I've been putting together the Bronze Age and the Silver Age indexes. And you know my goal is to give you guys updates on a month by month basis. At some point, I will also put together a Copper Age index and then maybe later on down the line, I can also do a Modern Age index. And then we can combine all the indexes together and have kind of a comic book 400. But for the time being, uh, we're just gonna go through the Silver Age and the Bronze Age here. Now, if you guys haven't seen the other videos, this is basically the top 100 sold books within each age. I would pick out the highest volume of graded book that is sold uh, for that particular key. Then I would take the final sale of each month, uh, add that all together, you know, do the calculations and we would get sort of a monthly uh, index uh, for both of these uh, silver and bronze ages. And then of course, this is all data that is coming from GPA. So here's the chart I showed you guys in the last video. And the good news for you silver age fans out there was that we actually were able to bounce off the floor a little bit. Uh, we had dropped significantly to that $66,658 range. We had a little bit of a comeback at the $70,400 $407 range. Uh, but like I mentioned in that video, this was kind of saved coming off of some of the announcements of San Diego Comic-Con. So we got a couple of, you know, key sales right there at the uh, finish line that was sort of able to bring this month up. So the question was, you know, where were we going to go after San Diego Comic-Con? How is the August month looking like? And I guess this is the first bad news I have to share with you guys, but we are back on the decline, dropping down to 62,206. Uh, the lowest it's been been since we, you know, kind of initially had this comic book boom. Uh, so that's definitely an interesting thing to see. But I don't necessarily think, you know, it's the worst case scenario we have so far. But before I kind of start to, you know, talk about some of my takeaways and what I'm sort of seeing, let's also take a look at the Bronze Age and see how that one has been doing. Uh, this is the last graph that I had been showing you guys in my Bronze Age Index video. And as you can see, we've basically been on the, you know, a slow and steady decline ever since the height of May of 2021. Uh, the Bronze Age has had very few few months that have sold higher than the previous month. And, you know, basically in the August update, that trend has continued and we are continuing to sort of slide down uh, here now at the $53,571 range. So both indexes um, have had their lowest month since the initial boom of 2021. And here's kind of where they're looking side by side right now. Uh, and you can see this is one of the things I think is also pretty interesting is, you know, in the last video when I was comparing these graphs, I talked about how in 20 18, 19, and 20, you know, the Silver Age and the Bronze Age were actually pretty close. But after this 2021 boom, the Silver Age really uh, kind of widened the margin. Now, granted, this graph right here that you're looking at is not necessarily drawn to scale. So visually, there's a lot of room for error on this. But generally, you can see that, you know, kind of where we are now in August of 2022, the margin of the value of the indexes are getting a little bit closer. There were some really big gaps. And I had asked that question of, oh, maybe the Silver Age still has time to kind of correct back down to be more in proportion to the Bronze Age. And it's looking like they're doing that overall. But, you know, even though this kind of, you know, might feel bad if you're somebody who bought a lot of books in April of 2021, uh, I'm kind of happy to report that I'm starting to feel like we're getting towards the bottom of where the comic book indexes are going to be. Because with these corrections, we're actually starting to get close to our trend lines here. But before I get into that, let's talk about uh, some of the uh, highlights of the, the numbers here. In May of 2021, of course, the height of the market Market. We saw the Silver Age was 93,252. Now here in August, it's 62,206. That's the amount of money it would take for you to buy these 100 comic books. Uh, that's a drop, generally speaking, of 34 to 35% uh, from the high. We're talking about, you know, the drastic high to low. Uh, that's also true of the Bronze Age at this point now. Both indexes have sort of dropped that 34 to 35%. Uh, but the good news is that if you look at the number for the Silver Age in December of 2022, seeing that it was 47,000 700. And now in August 2022, it's 62,206. Well, that's actually been sort of a 25 to 30% increase uh, over the course of these last
last year and a half or so. So if you take away the bloat of April and May of 2021, what you actually start to see is that the silver age is kind of falling right back in line to the trend line overall. Now, shout out to J Hood Comics. He was actually uh, DMing me about this after having watched my uh, silver age index video. And this is something I've been talking about in some of my other videos uh, mentioning, you know, how do, how do we want to do calculations of books that we may be thinking about picking up? I, you know, picked up the Hawkeye book and I talked about how, you know, I just looked at the 2020 price and then did kind of a 15 to 30 percent year over year return. And that kind of gave me a number to figure out uh, what I think a good purchase for a book would be right now in this particular month. And we're basically kind of heading into this trend line um, that kind of shows us that basically these indexes have been increasing since 2018 uh, around the 25 to 30 percent range. And it feels like we're kind of getting right back in line to that, which is actually going to be an ideal scenario for us comic book collectors, because this is going to be a way for us to feel like we're mitigating our risk when we make some of our purchases. But I keep mentioning trend line. And what do I mean by that? Well, if we were winding the clock back to January of 2018, and we just look at the values of the Silver Age Index, how it's kind of performed year over year, what we basically see is that from 2018 up through 2020 or the beginning of 2021, uh, these basically uh, indexes have grown about 25 to 35% kind of year over year. So if that were the case, if we took away, you know, the bloat that occurred in 2021, what would that basically show as far as the values of our index and where it should be today? Well, here is kind of the breakdown that I made for that. So in January of 2021, if we're taking away kind of, you know, what actually happened, uh, we, we would basically say that we would start the year of 2021 at around the $38,000 range. And then by December of 2021, depending on how, you know, bearish or bullish you are, if you believe that it should go up 25% or maybe all the way up to 35%, whatever you think, uh, we would kind of finish in this $47,000 to $51,000 estimated level, which means, you know, in January of 2022, we'd start kind of right in line there. And then in December of 2022, uh, at the end of this year, we would effectively finish around the $59,000 to $69,000 range. And so if we prorate that to figure out what that means for this current month of August, where would we actually be or where should we in theory be? Well, the prorated value would be kind of around the $54,000 to $63,000 range. And as you can see, our August number is actually $62,206, which basically means that we're kind of right back in line to the trend, you know, maybe slightly leaning on the high side of things. So depending on how sort of bearish or bullish you're feeling about comic books, uh, that is a really good sign overall that the Silver Age is kind of right in line to where it wants to be. And, you know, now we're starting to feel like, okay, this is probably, you know, flirting with the bottom. I mean, anything can happen. Things can continue to go down. Uh, you know, we can absolutely go to zero. You know, the trend is your friend until it's not and decides to not be a trend anymore. Uh, but generally speaking, this is how comic books have performed. And if we feel like, you know, comic books are going to be relevant for, say, at least the next three to five years, uh, I think it's pretty reasonable to assume that these trends will continue. And you might be thinking, Swagglehaus, there's no way that, you know, a comic books can predictably do 25% year over year. But this is kind of what they've done with inflation. I mean, shout out to Ryan over at Automatic Comic Books, but he made a video talking about this and was talking about sort of the compound interest that comic books have been doing, you know, kind of year over year. And if you rewind the clock all the way back to the point where they were actually worth 12 cents, I mean, it basically kind of maps out to be exactly where we are today. And granted, this is also, you know, the top 100 key comic books. You know, these are the ones that people want that are typically desired, that are typically blue chips. So that is why these values are more predictive versus say like other comic books that are not keys that are, you know, spec books that are now completely worthless. We're not talking about those comic books. Similarly, if we look at the Bronze Age year over year, basically the Bronze Age is a little more predictable. It returns about a 25% year over year. So basic, basing this on the trend line in January, we would have started around 43,000. By December, we should finish around 54,000 and prorated August should be around 49,000. So, you know, based on the number we're at right now at 53,000, we're a little bit higher than we should be based on August, but we're lower than what we should finish out in December. So I think at some point there's going to be kind of a crossing pattern where we hit the trend line, which is kind of,
of leaving me to think that September and October might be kind of the low lowest months uh, that we have for our index before November and December start to push us back up. Uh, but if we look back at the trend line, you can see kind of where I plotted the blue dot for where we are right now in the Silver Age. And it's basically like right in line to the trend. But, you know, granted, we're a little bit on the high side, whereas the Bronze Age, you know, maybe we're just outside the trend line right now, slightly above it. But I would uh, predict that, you know, in the next month or two, we're probably going to fall right back in line to where we want to be. And this is kind of a really good outlook for us as comic book collectors, you know, in these next coming months or so. I think that, you know, September and October are once again going to be great times to find good deals on books. Things are going to start to get back in line. And if you're someone who believes in this hobby or believes in comic books, I definitely think that the books you buy now are going to do pretty well in the next, you know, three to five years. So uh, that's kind of my update for the Silver Age and Bronze Age Index. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, you know, anything can happen. Certainly comic books can go to zero tomorrow. There's no way to predict the future. But if we're looking at the trends, we're looking at some of the data, I think, you know, we're kind of falling in line to where we want to be right now. And basically what I would do if I were you guys, if you're thinking about, you know, is this price a good price? I basically would look at that book's price, what it was selling for in November or December of 2020. And then I would just kind of amplify it twice over at like 15 to 30%, see if that kind of falls in line to the price that is being asked for it. And if it is, it might be a good purchase. Anyways, that's all for this video. Drop me a like, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying the content and I will see you in the next one.